Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is part 4 of the video series Hands-on Power BI Interview Questions. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. For clear understanding, please go through part 3 of this video series. The link for part 3 is mentioned in the, descri in the description box. So let's get started. The data set which we are using is same the sample superstore excel. My first question is to dynamically select the top 10 performing products. Let's move on to Power BI. Here I have created the table with my product ID, my total sales measure and my rank sales measure. The description for rank sales and total sales is mentioned in part 3 of the video series. The functionality which I want to show is I have to select the products dynamically. That is, if I select two, top two, the top two product ID should only be displayed. If I select zero, then none of the product ID should be displayed. For 10, all the 10 product ID should be displayed. So for creating this, I have to create a parameter. The parameter can be created from the modeling tab. When we create a new parameter, a parameter value and a column gets created automatically. The column contains the generate series function which generates the series of the number. Here 0 is the start point, 10 is the end point and 1 is the increment. The parameter value uses the selected value function to select the value which is in that column. After creating the parameter, I have to create my top 10 measure. Here I am comparing my rank values with my parameter value. If my rank of value is less than the parameter or equal to it, that is if my rank is between 0 to 10, that is whatever is selected during that time, I should it should return me 1, else it should return me 0. So if I select 3 here, it will return me 1. If I select 10, it will return me 1. After creating my top 10 measure, I need to go to my table and add this top 10 measures to my visual filter. Here I need to set the condition, show me the item value when the value of the item is 1. because in my top 10 measure, I have selected that if my rank sales is less than equal to the parameter, it should return me 1. So now you can see when I select 2, it gives me only the top 2 product IDs. Let's move on to the second question. My second question is to display the top 10 performing products. But here it's not mentioned to display it in a dynamic manner. So for that, I can create a table. I can have to drag my product ID and total sales. And for my product ID, I can select the filter type as top N. Then for show items, I have to select top. I can select bottom if I have to display the bottom 10. Here I can set the number of the top or bottom items I need to display. And my what value do I need to compare this dimension? So here I need a total sales measure to compare this product dimensions. And after applying the filter, I can see my result. The product IDs gets displayed in the descending order of the sales. That is the top 10 product IDs are getting displayed here. The same result can be seen in this page if I see. But the only difference is and this has a dynamic selection that's why I have to use a parameter as well as the rank field here. My third question is to dynamically compare the maximum and minimum profit for various years. For creating that I have added a slicer. This is my slicer and I have added the date order date year there. 
when I select my 2014, I can see the maximum profit which was made in 2014 as well as the minimum profit. So for creating this maximum and minimum profit, for maximum profit, I have created a measure, the max profit measure. Here I have used the function max <coughs> and the column name which I have passed here is profit. For displaying the minimum of profit, I have dragged the profit to my visualization fields and I have selected the function here minimum. So the maximum could also be achieved in the similar manner but I have used two different techniques for maximum and minimum here. Now for to time 14 if I want to compare with my data set I can go and filter the data set order date to to time 14. And here in my profit, I can see my minimum value is 3701. So this is 3.7k, and my maximum profit will be 4630. 4, that is 4.63 here. So I'm getting the correct output. Now I want to compare like two years, 2015 as well as 2017 so I use my control key to select both of them now I can get the maximum profit as 6.2 for that again I can remove this filter apply a new filter on my order date for 2015 and 2017 okay so now I can view my profit as minus 3839. 3839. And my maximum profit is 3719, which is 3.72. So thank you for watching.